Now, if the thought of becoming a rapper and finally starting to make music has ever crossed your mind, this is the video you need to watch. Or on the other hand, if you are an aspiring rapper, you know you're currently making music and you have this dream of one day making it, this is the video you need to watch as well. So yeah, let's talk about it. This video is actually directly inspired by all the messages I get on my social medias because uh, people value my opinion, which I don't take for granted. So they link me their songs and they ask me what I think about it. To be honest, 95% of the time, I don't really get a chance to listen at all because now it's gotten to a point where I'm getting so many of them. Even if I wanted to listen to all of them, it simply wouldn't be possible because I'm only one person. And that's why I'm making this video in the first place. I'm making this video because there's people out there who have this dream, okay? They have this dream of one day becoming this famous rapper with millions of fans all around the world, some good money in their bank account, touring all over the world, living their best life, and most importantly of all, smashing the baddest of bitches. Because what is being a rapper if you're not living like Blueface? If you don't know what I'm talking about, according to Blueface at least, in the last six months, he's had a stroke with over a thousand women. I don't know if I believe this, but then again, I wouldn't be surprised. By the way, when I saw this headline for the first time, all I could think about was STD has entered the chat. But on a serious note though, I think everyone who listens to rap music on the regular has at least one time had that thought cross their mind. What would it look like if I was the person on stage in front of thousands of people like my favorite rapper? The truth is, rappers are role models to a lot of people out in the world and it only makes sense. They have this big platform where millions and sometimes even billions of people get to hear their voice on a track. Even the ones who you would consider not that famous are out here cashing in millions and millions every single year. Which now that I think about it, man, I'm trying to get that rapper bag myself. I'm gonna quit being a YouTuber and you know what I'm saying like I'm gonna be dropping bars left and right. So you know, there's a lot of positive things that comes with being a successful rapper. I mean, who doesn't wanna be appreciated by so many people and make millions off of that? But then again, let's approach this from a darker perspective. If you're watching this video right now and you're one of those people who wants to be a globally recognized rapper, the truth is, and I hate to break it to you, but there's a very big chance that's never gonna happen. And I'm sorry to say that because there's at least a couple thousand of you who are watching this video right now who've had that thought cross your mind. Matter of fact, some of you have actually gotten started and uh, little do you realize you're wasting your time. Now some of you guys just got a major hit to your ego when you heard me say that. I don't want to be the kind of person who's gonna crush anybody's dreams, but then again, I also don't want to be the person who's gonna allow you to do something stupid and waste your life trying to be a successful rapper when you never had a chance to begin with. The harsh truth is most people are simply not built for the rap industry. Even successful rappers who are currently making millions off of rapping aren't built for the rap industry. Some of these rappers are literally crumbling mentally. I mean, they're making all this money, but at the end of the day, they don't have shit to show for it. They're on Instagram, you know, doing the ding, ding, ding money phone. They're flexing with all these diamonds, all that jewelry. They drive cars most quote unquote regular people could only dream about driving. They spend more money in 15 minutes in the Gucci store than your average Joe could spend on his mortgage in 30 years. Like, do you realize how crazy that is? Life is just not fair, man. Some of these rappers got so much money, they start peeing on their money instead of donating that money to charity so a kid who hasn't eaten in days can get a goddamn meal in his belly. I'm not here to tell anyone what to do with their money. I'm just trying to make a point here so please look at the bigger picture of what I'm trying to say. For your average rapper in hip hop right now, it's more important to have a million followers on Instagram than making a real impact on the world. Is that who you aspire to be? Do you really want to be a part of an industry like this? Do you really want to and are you ready to sacrifice your privacy for a little bit of fame and possibly lose your sanity in the process? Recently, we saw Hobson reach his breaking point. He released a song titled I Don't Want It where he was vividly describing the dark place being Hobson has taken him to. So he started making music because he wanted to find a way to express himself to the world so people could finally accept him for who he is. Years later in his 30s he has everything in his life he was dreaming about getting. He then finds himself on the brink of ending his life because he can't handle the pressure of being Hobson anymore. And the question I have is when are people gonna realize that the rap industry is a very dark place? Some of your favorite people who've existed on this earth did didn't get the chance to live a long life because of the things that came with them being a famous rapper. Nipsey Hussle was gunned down in his own hood in front of his own store he opened up in his own block so he could get back to his community. XXXTentacion was gunned down in his own city by a couple of hating ass niggas for whatever reason. The moment you become that successful rapper you've been dreaming about is the moment you stop being a person because now you're nothing but a product. You sign to a label in the hopes of elevating your rap career and there you are, being controlled by the corporations like a little toy. You share some bad experiences you're going through in your life and this, okay, what you're seeing on the screen right now, this is how your so-called fans pay you back. By telling you to drop eternal take when your grandma is 
in the hospital fighting for her life. All this unfortunately comes with the territory. Once you finally achieve that dream of yours, you might just get to the point where all you want to do is wake up from that bad dream. A lot of rappers in hip hop, to be quite honest with you, are struggling in silence. That's why you see them drowning themselves in all this materialistic stuff. That's why some of these people can't even go a single day without popping a couple of Zans. They're trying to numb the pain. They're paranoid to leave their house because they feel like they have a target on their back and that's real life. I'm not making this video to scare anyone from perhaps pursuing this rapper dream, but I am making this video to point out some of the things that many people don't want to talk about when it comes to this conversation. The rap industry is in fact a dark place and maybe you should think twice about becoming a rapper. That's all I have to say about this topic and let's have a discussion about this.